the text that he's saying. That's why we are practicing listening. And in my class, I would like to listen to the students and as much as possible, I don't just say bad feedbacks. As much as possible, try to inspire. <laughs>
to the audience and your classmates and to yourself as well as well then keep it simple you know how simple what is simple concentrate on your core message the important thing about your presentation what is the thing that i would like to explain that i would like them to know it's not just a topic that they will just ignore but something which is worthwhile show your passion number three and contact with your audience your love and contact look at that man when he was speaking i was looking at him i'm thinking that one of you is really speaking like that it's not because that we have to follow him we can understand you that you really tried your best show your passion and contact with your audience the way you talk as if you are talking to them uh, face to face the number four smile you can give your smile to everyone nothing to lose and make eye contact with them it's not that you will focus your eyes to the person it's not but you have to in a while then number five start strongly when we say start strongly it doesn't mean that you will so show your strength you see class in public speaking or talking to the public if you first speak and they you have your good voice that you presented that in a nice way they will be attracted to you compared to those voices which are just whispering as if you are talking to someone do you, do you like that of course you have to say the good one show your voice i know that some of you have beautiful voices we are making marks I know those people who have good voices here because I'm really checking. Then tell stories. You can even start that yesterday or this morning I saw like this as if you are not just caring for the story as just normal. Do not anymore say long time ago or they will be thinking about long time ago when it happened. But if you will say, oh, just this morning, it's so mates, and we talk about this, just normal, neutral language. And the next one, use your voice effectively. You are given good voices. I know that because I've heard you, some of you, really, really very good. Use your voice effectively. That's your asset. That's your capital. And if you have good voice, try your best to make a good pronunciation. If you think that it's bad, you correct that. You, co you can correct it by yourself. Even myself, I'm facing the mirror. Even I'm, I was already teaching many years ago. Every day for improvement. That's why we're studying. As we go on, as we talk different subjects, you have acquired all these things. That's why you can apply that. If you will never apply what you have learned, no application at all, it means that you did not learn at all. The best evidence that you really learned something is application. You have to apply what you have learned. You said, use a voice. If you're not showing that, show it. Don't be afraid. It's not really that you're shouting. Modulate. Modulation of your voice is very important. Next, how to improve your communication skill. So when we talk about communication, you have to clear your words. Say it. If you are not being understood by your audience, synonym to that word. For example, using big. Do not anymore youths some of them cannot understand so just simple big large like that some people are using high sounding words because they want to show up that they are very good enough but i will tell you class if you're not using a simple word it doesn't mean that you're a good speaker because be understood by the audience then manage your emotions 
although there are some people who are criticizing you there because some of them are shouting just pretend that you didn't hear what they said just don't mind just go on they want you to be distracted they are cutting your attention that's why they are doing that so effective communicators are all good listeners that's why in the four skills of english we have four skills to learn number one is listening why listening if you are a good listener you are a good communicator because you will not say something if you have not finished the text that he's saying that's why we are practicing listening and in my class i would like to listen to the students and as much as possible i don't just say bad feedbacks as much as possible try to in inspire do not say oh you have a bad voice no you can just say you you can improve that later because class nobody is perfect in this world communicators refer to the people who are speaking if you communicate you are a communicator so you can say that okay practice speaking to the public if you have not tried to practice speaking to the public there you go you will be worrying that's why we have presentation skills in order to develop your communication you can you can see here i do not want you to be writing and writing i want really speaking if you are a good speaker and a good communicator i'm very sure that you will get high grade because i'm not afraid of writing if that is not essay or whatever about writing i am looking at your speech the way you talk to the public the way you reported that's why last re the last presentation i was really quite disappointed because there were only some who showed their faces and were able to to talk about their presentation and i'm always telling you that even if you are at home you must be it's not really good looking but you know how to be presentable for all you know, not only we are looking, but even on the seventh floor, our coordinator will looking at you and some teachers. That's why in grade defense, if they know that you are not really good student and somebody gave you a very high and you are not really doing that, they will question you. That's why we are very careful. I want an evidence. So overall, when I gave grades to my students since the time I arrived here, I was not questioned because I am fair to my students. If you are very good, no one can tell me, in my class he is not good. What is my answer? In your class. But in my class, he was very good. Why do I, why do I have to follow your grades? Maybe because you are boring. I'm taking that. I have to be frank, straightforward. That's why you are, if you are good in presentation skills, you will get a high grade. And even, even if you are at home, you have also to comb your hair. Do not just wake up without even combing your hair and without changing your clothes. At least you wear something that is presentable to the audience. Remember class, always imagine that you are speaking to the public. And that is the training ground for you. So, it's not only a presentation, but I'm handling first year. It's again conversation. I have my public speaking, all speaking. And they even told me that there must be overlapping because all talking, I said no. I know how to, to give lessons to the presentation, to the conversation and public speaking as well. I'm very sure that if God's will that I'm still be here, I'll be with you during your fourth year, public speaking. And there, you have to say 
to speak individual without taking notes because you will have their impronto. No preparation. For example, if you are on a stage, you have your boss, they will assign you to speak, to explain like this. That's the kind. So when you are in second year, I would like you to be really good as well so that when you come to the higher level, you are well prepared. And remember, when you are fourth year already, you, you will be going out, you will be talking to other people and colleagues. You're ready for that. You don't have to be afraid as long as you are well prepared. Remember that the man said, you have to come early to the place, to the venue or to the stage so that you can arrange your computer, your USB, your technology or whatever you have. So today, our class is 8 to 11. We arrive here 7.15 because we have to look at the camera, the, the computer and review some of the works that we did and we forgot to do it because we type it as a draft. That's why some of you or all of you were not able to see because it's only a draft and it's really true that we were not able to upload. That's why it's very late when you saw it. So even if I did not tell you that I don't care about your grammar, but it's really good if you know a little bit about grammar. For example, if it happened in the past, you're going to use the past tense form of the verb. And for you students, because you are just there studying your grammar, you have your book as well, you study, self-study. That is the way to show to the people, to your teacher, that you are really doing your best. That's why for the students who say that, I cannot understand this teacher because the pronunciation like this. You have to ask in a nice way, teacher, what do you mean by that? Of course, there's nothing wrong. Because sometimes we really get wrong about the pronunciation of the words, especially if it is French. And we have to say some words and explain it in a very simple way. So, it's the end of the chapter 4. And next week, I will discuss first the unit 5 and then go to the presentation to two of you. You will have to show your faces and make it beautiful as much as possible.